been with the lead in the bag? How much did that last minute, 15 minutes, sum up just the way the Saints have been playing recently? Yeah, it's just that grit and determination, I think. You know, by that performance last 15 minutes, you wouldn't know it was sort of a, a nothing game for us. We, we want to keep this winning momentum through until the England internationals go away. And um, yeah, it showed great determination. I think we were camped on our own line for the last 10 minutes and I luckily managed to pop in between a couple of players and run away with it. <laughs> We've been talking about your tries a lot recently, but it was more for your tackling that you stood out today. Um, when you find yourself in those positions, do you just back yourself to make the tackle every time? Uh, I think you have to. Sort of sometimes you find yourself like trying to second guess people, which I did a few times and luckily it came off. But yeah, you're just trying to you know, narrow people down, use the touchline. Uh, it helps a lot when you're, when you're 15 making that cover tackle because you've only got one way to go and that's on your outside so as long as you use that touch line it's sort of a 16th defender uh, usually you'll come out all right at the end. You mentioned the interception already, um, 15 minutes of solid defence, um, <laughs> you were getting stuck in there and then you had a 100 metre run to the line, how, how were the legs feeling? Uh, I was alright, I didn't think anyone was going to bother chasing me back so I sort of eased up on the halfway and then I saw uh, Georgie North sprinting across so I had to put a little bit more in than I really wanted to but it was, it was alright yeah it was good. Momentum's been building every week I mean this just takes it another step further a good away win how, how tough was that game though? Over? No it was yeah very tough they're, they're a good side and they've, they've proved that by coming to our patch and, and turning us over there and we knew that we were going to have to you know take the field and give it 110% today and you know a lot of people were thinking like how we were going to approach the game because you know we, we knew we were sort of out of the out of the mix to, to qualify into the knockout stage of the Hanning Cup but we, we knew what we wanted to do we knew we wanted to keep this run of form running and uh, you know all credit to the boys they went out there and, and gave it their all. And the Amman Challenge Cup, that's something uh, the Saints could still qualify for. Is that something that everyone's motivated to? Yeah, I think so now that sort of, you know, we know the sort of, uh, we know our fate in the Heineken Cup. So, yeah, the next thing is to, you know, look towards next year and how we're going to qualify in that way. And, you know, if the Amman Cup's there for us to compete in and, and another way for us to qualify into the Heineken Cup, where we'll go for 100%. Next weekend, Stadium K sold out. It must be something you're really looking forward to. Yeah, I think all the boys are. We know how much of a buzz it's going to be. Uh, it's already sold out. We'll sold out for a couple of weeks, I think. So, you know, it's going to be a massive game. I think we owe Munster one after their 43 phases and kicking that goal to sort of knock us out of the competition. So, yeah, we owe them one and, and we'll hopefully get one over them come the weekend.